Hello and welcome to Mock Productions. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here for another theme deck battle. It's me versus Alan, or Alan versus me, as you can see by the mats. Um, Alan had his Solgaleo deck, whilst I have still got my Decidui deck. We got these from the theme decks. We opened four packs each, and whatever cards we got from there, we threw them in. So as we go ahead and shuffle through all the cards, um, I've got both of these decks next to me. Not all of Alan's deck, but, you know, the majority of the, uh, the Steel Sun, or at least the uh, Solgaleo deck. So it's pretty interesting because they do throw in some Guardians Rising cards in here, which is always pretty good. A Delmise there, it's not a hollow. Um, but as obviously we're shuffling through all of these, checking out, you know, what sort of shuffles we can get each other. Hopefully pulling some good stuff to start with. And maybe getting some different uh, luck for when we started the one with Steve. And if you haven't seen uh, that one in particular, go back and watch that before this. Uh, that was the first one of these theme deck battles, but as we're getting ready here to go. Alan is all ready and starting. I'm not starting to uh, grab my cards. Don't know why at all. Rolling. I think he got the uh, the first turn there. So now we can start with our decks. I think right there Steve has shown me a card. I think at this point he was uh, just sorting out his, uh, sorting out his deck. For one of his, uh, I've not actually. I think he was just going through it for trades and everything like that, seeing if I was interested in anything. Which of course I am. Of course I am. So Alan is on the left, getting ready there with all of his Gengar sleeved up cards. He's got his prize cards done, and obviously he's got his hand right in front of him. Now I'm finally getting started. Do we have a good hand? Looks as if it. We're not going for a mulligan. Yeah, there we go. Price cards are going down there. Very, very good. What can we see on Alan's side? There's a Cosmog there in Alan's hand. Possible Beware there as well and a Cosmoem. So he's already got, you know, some good cards to play straight away. Beware can't go on, I don't think. Yeah, that is definitely a Beware there um, instead of the Stuffle. So he definitely needs the Stuffle. What have we got? We have got three cards right there. That is not a bad hand to start off with. in our hands there, making sure what's going on, we're all ready to go, Alan gets the easy job of just turning over one, straight away getting the EV, that's awesome stuff, because obviously the moveset for the EV allows you, once you have the energy for the Psychic, you can search your deck and look for that Psychic that you're looking for, in particular it was the Espeon Full Art that we pulled, only GX to be pulled out of all three of us, which is pretty awesome indeed. I was rather happy with that. So already playing a How for three more cards. Maybe getting a Energy. No, that looks like a Kengus Calm possibly there. No, that's an Energy Switch, unfortunately. More Lol there going down back on the bench. Of course, we we can get the, the Shenotic as well, which I think it was in the hand just then. A Nest Ball as well is there if we wanted to search for a Pokemon in particular. Am I going to use my Synthesis move? I think I did. Oh no, hold on. Oh no, 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 it's not my... Am I first turn? I think I was. I think I went first turn, so I can't use an attack. Alan can, though. What is Alan going to do? What is Alan going to do? He's got a timer ball there. He'd have to flip for two heads to get some evolutions. Is he going to play it? Yes, he is. Can he get anything from two dice? like he can. Bearing in mind they have to be evolutions, so if, I mean, he's got the Cosmo and he could go for a Solgaleo if it's in there. What's he going to pull out? Couldn't see whether he got two heads, but he's evidently got one head, no matter what, so what has he got? Come on, Alan. What you got? Or is he prized? Is he so gonna go prized, Alan? That would be a shame. Oh, something just got added. Not too sure what that was. 
it's great being able to flick through your deck just to see what you've actually got in there because obviously you can start narrowing down then what the prize cards are. He's evolved Cosmoim on his first turn. Can he do that? I'm not too sure. Is there an ability which allows it to which evolve? That was his first turn, wasn't it? I'm not I'm not seeing things. Cosmoim, Cosmog, Gathering Justice, draw a card. Uh, Cosmoim teleport switch with one Pokemon on your bench. Not too sure about that. Oh, he's taking it off. Okay, I take it back. He's taking it off. Because it is his first turn. And Cosmog hasn't been up for a turn just yet. What am I going to do? I'm going to do a time ball. Can I get anything? don't think I could, so that's why I'm going to use Nest Ball to go and grab a Pokemon of choice from here. Can we see the Espeon? I think that was the Espeon just went by then. Are we going to go straight for Espeon and try and get it powered up already? No, we're going to go for a Kangaskhan. Okay. Interesting, because obviously all I need is the energy. The energy goes on Eevee, boom. We've got our Pokemon that we need. Shenotic Evolve there. Obviously not a hollow Shenotic, because it didn't come uh, from a normal pack, it came from the theme deck. Let's have a little look what a Shenotic can do quickly, whilst we're uh, waiting for the next move. Decidueye, more lol, big man Asada, Shenotic. Ability lo uh, Illuminate, once during your turn, you may search your deck for a leaf Pokemon and reveal it. So that's a pretty good move right there, that's an ability, so that doesn't cost anything, and then it's just 30 attack. So probably one just to be put on the bench, not much of an attacker. But because Cosmoum was, sorry, Cosmog, sorry, is the only one there. There is a Dartrix there. I've used the ability. So, I mean, that's a good one to have on the bench, definitely. If you're going to have a Leaf deck, Shenotic's definitely a very bench-worthy person. But not when it comes to attacking. Not at all. <clears throat> so, it looks as if it's been confused, maybe? Can it do that? So it's like 30 damage, and then... Oh, your opponent is now asleep. Ah, so he's got to flip his coin to wake him up. Now, he can also wake him up if he just puts the Cosmoim on top of him as well. I'm pretty sure you can do that. It looks as if he's going to retreat it, which wakes it up. He's now going to put that Cosmog at the top. Is he going to put a Cosmoim on it? He's going to put... Okay... Smart thinking there. Very smart indeed. So we got some energy going on there. Oh, time of ball being played. Yes, it is indeed. So two more rolls here, Alan. Come on, what can you get here? Anything at all? He's evidently got something. Whoa, what was that draw? Okay, maybe he's just using the Cosmo thing. He might not have got anything then. Okay, so he's drawn two, an EXP share there as well. Interesting. What have we got? I could see maybe a Decidueye in my hand. Got the Kangaskhan on the bench. Of course, we need to start fueling that up if we wanted to get that as an attacker. Decidueye going down there, very nice. And an energy being attached there. I think it's got one attack for the one energy, I'm pretty sure. We're retreating Shenotic for Decidueye. Very quickly done there as well. Rolling a dice. Oh, flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 30 more damage. So that could have been an instant knockout for Cosmog. Because Cosmog, I think, is just 60. Uh, so evidently we didn't get heads there. Double colorless going on to... Uh, Cosmoem there, so he evidently pulled that from a pack. It looks as if it's a reverse double colorless, which is a pretty sweet card. Potion going on there, which obviously heals him. Is that a stadium instead of the beware? He's playing it, whatever it is. It is a stadium, okay, so that's definitely not a beware. What have we got? 
so we can get the knockout here for that 30 on that Cosmog if we wanted. What is going to happen? That is some that is some technique right there. That's how you shuffle. You flip two cards next to each other and you hope for the best. There's a knockout on Cosmog. Picking up a card, it's a leaf energy. It's another energy, which is always good. What are we gonna do now? So Alan draws for a psychic energy there. There's a fairy energy as well in his hand. There's the energy switch and there's some sort of poker that's the EXP chair, sorry. Okay, so he is... Oh, it's Energy Recycler, sorry. So he can get out some more energy from his discard pile. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. What's he going to do now? He's got no other Pokemon to put down. I can't destroy that Cosmoan. Pretty sure I can't destroy the Cosmo in. There's Kakui in my hand. Now if I can get the Kakui going and also roll for a heads, that is a probably yeah, I'm possibly gonna go for this. Another energy being attached. So that must have only been a 30. Oh, hold on. Cosmoem has got more health than I think. So evidently that went through as an 80. Where is Cosmoem? Come here. What's he got? 90 on him or something? Oh, he is. He's 90. Okay, so I couldn't have taken him out in that first turn. Interesting, but he's nicely damaged. So if he does be able to, uh, if he does be able to, um, if he's able to evolve into the Solgaleo, then it's already got some really good damage on it already. I've howled for three more cards. He's probably passed on his turn. I'm not too sure. Not too sure, because I just drew a card and I've played another card and I've already attacked. This is Romantis in my hand. That's going on the bench. That's five, so I can't put anything else down. But I've got the Eevee on the bench, which is always good, because we can then get the uh, the SB on once we've got our uh, Psychic Energy. How's going back in the discard pile? Another Energy attached to Decidueye there, right onto the Firestorm Games em emblem there. It's a great sort of area, that little disc there. Um, obviously, it's their logo, but it's ideal because you can place the stuff on there. Like, if there's a stadium or a card in play, it sort of gives it that main spotlight focus. So that's really, really cool. Uh, doesn't look as if... We're having some really bad luck this turn with uh, some timer balls. That's crazy. That's like two cards of timer balls taken and nothing. Okay, they don't want... Oh, it was Energy Recycler. Okay, yeah, because we discarded it from Shenotic, didn't we? Are we going to start attaching? Of course, if there was a Leafeon GX, please give us a Leafeon GX in the future, I'm begging. I'd love one. Has Alan passed? I think Alan has passed. Now, I think I've activated the three turns of uh, not doing anything here because I've got that dice out. Oh, there it is. See, I'm turning it. So that's the second move. So now he, I'm giving him turns to try and sort himself out. He's evidently can't do anything before I go for the final knockout. What is this one going to be? The Ultra Ball. 
getting rid of a Fermantis and a Nest Ball to retrieve something beautiful. I wonder what it'll be. Can you guess? Oh, there it is! Oh, boom! There's craters just on that table right now because of that Espeon GX full art. Alan's really got to pull through with some goods here to start defending himself. He's got literally this is that that was his last move, so he's got to do something now. Otherwise, that's it. Okay, he's howling for three cards. Can he get? He's got a stuffle. That is a one hundred percent stuffle right there. So he's at least got another mm, two moves possibly because I don't have the Kakui, and it all comes down to my rolling of the dice. I can switch a Decidueye out, but I can't do any attacks with that Espeon. A Rescue Stretcher coming out. He's going to be able to retrieve possibly some of his Pokemon if he's got any. I'm pretty sure that's what it does anyway. There's two different sides to a Rescue Stretcher. Let's have a quick look in the book. Here we go. Rescue Stretcher, where are you? Kikui, Matang, Rescue Stretcher. Choose one. Put a Pokemon from your discard pile into your hand. Shuffle three Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. He evidently went with a Cosmog. So that gives him a few more turns. So that's really, really good. If I can get a Psychic Energy, though, what am I going to do with that? I'm going to attach it there. All I need now is this Psychic Energy, and that Espeon is ready to go, guys. Ready to go. Rolling a dice. That is a knockout anyway, regardless on the, uh, the overall um, numbers we pull, because it's only got 10 more health before it gets knocked out. Uh, let's have a little look. So we do Psychic, which is so nothing else yet until we have that Psychic. Everything else is colourless. Hmm. So he's got a slow bro as well. That's not bad. EXP share... There you go. I think we were telling him about the EXP share, because I've done this in the past. Well, if I'm playing the online game, I put the EXP share on the, the guy who's at the front, thinking that when he gets knocked out, that's the guy who you have to trade from to give it to a random Pokemon. But no, once it's down, it has to go on the Pokemon you want the energy to go on. There's that lovely energy we have there. Are we going to retreat to Sidueye and maybe start getting some heavy hitters in? Doesn't look as if we are. We're going to go for a little bit of damage on the Cosmog. Looks only like a 3 or a 30 out of the 60 health I believe it has. Is that a Kakui in his hand? Or a Meowth? <laughs> That's a Kakui. There's a How there, so he can't play the How. He's going to draw a card because of Cosmog's ability. He's going to do anything else. Okay, so it looks as if he's passed over. Molol getting a energy there. Not too sure why Molol is getting energy. I just think I was trying to bump them all up. Could have gone on the Kangaskhan because I think Decidueye at this moment is doing well. Espeon is ready to go. Kangaskhan could do with some stuff though, just so he's ready to go in case. So we got Slowpoke coming up now. With two energies on him. There's a how going down there. That looks like a Solgaleo. Oh. Alan. Solgaleo. Oh, mate. Could have done with that. I think this is when he was describing how painful it is to have. Is that two Solgaleos in his hand? Oh my gosh. And he's just got rid of his Cosmoim. Oh, sorry, I did. Meh. Oh, that's devastating, Alan. I apologise for that. What's he rolling for? He's probably rolling for a little bit. Ooh, bit of damage going on to Decidueye. 60. Way. Calm it down, buddy. Calm it down, Slowpoke. Speaking of Slowpoke, let's have a look at his abilities. Uh, Headbutt for 10, which is just one energy. He's got three on him, which is obviously uh, he's obviously gone for Wimpsy Tackle, which is flip a coin. If Tails, this attack does nothing. I'm switching out my Decidueye here. 
Why am I taking no energies off? Of this? Oh, I bet you I've placed an energy on him. Yeah. I think I just tried to place an energy on him and just said, right, I'm going to attach this, but I'm going to get rid of it straight away. To Yeah, that's it. Sweet. That's, an, that's another knockout there. Slowpoke is gone. So he's only got stuff left. Only stuff is the last, le last one left. He's cuckooing for two more cards. That seems to be a slow bro. He's getting some really bad luck with these draws. So he's putting those cards behind him because he can't use them now because the things that are there to be used with have gone. He's going to go for a little bit of damage onto his stuffle. Now, do I end it this turn? I think it might happen. Alan hasn't got one kill yet, which is annoying on his part. Very annoying. Because he's, he's, he's had the cards. The cards have been there, he just needed more time. And I didn't give him the time. Actually, I did. I gave him three turns. So that was there. And that's out of the rule book. And that's like, pfft, out of the rule book. That's like secret stuff right there. What can we do now? He's moving the Kakui. He's sorting out his discard pile. Thank you very much, Alan. That was like very, very annoying. <clears throat> his stuff will... Oh! Okay. I think... I definitely just went for the attack then and finished the game. Because he hasn't got anything else as his bench. Not unless he wants to put the altar of the moon. There's his two Sol Galitos. Straight on that how when he got two. And they're right next to each other. That was dull. That's painful, Alan. That's painful indeed. But there we go. That is what can happen sometimes. It's the luck of the draw. Very much the luck of the draw. And sometimes it's the luck of the shuffle for the opponent. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. That is uh, that round done. So we've only got one more until we uh, meet up again. Which is Steve vs. Alan. So make sure to stay tuned to that. That will be coming up very shortly. If you have enjoyed, make sure to hit that subscribe button below. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next video on the channel.